If you haven't subscribed already, ring that bell to get notified when new movies are posted. Hey, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek the channel where we bring you new smart home content every week looking at Apple HomeKit, uh, Amazon Echo, Madam A, Google Assistant, Home Assistant. If that interests you, please consider subscribing below. So today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different, which is the iHapper Smart Lamp, right? So this is, as you can see, this is a smart lamp, touch controls. Uh, this particular unit was given to me as a review unit by iHapper, so I want to say thank you to them for that. And this is kind of a unique um, unique device you can see here. It's kind of interesting. I can flip it around, flip it apart, and uh, as well, built in is a flashlight. Ooh, isn't that cool? Anyways, um, we're going to get into the video now, but again, I wanted to uh, say thank you to iHapper for providing this review unit for me, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So iHapper is a relatively newcomer to at least North American smart home, and they have cut their teeth on light bulbs, they've cut their teeth on light strips, which is kind of the typical entry into a smart home. But I'm really excited today to look at the iHapper DL1 smart desk lamp, which is kind of a unique product uh, in that it is, it's a desk lamp, right? This is a Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz, um, 860 to 160 lumen device, 4,250 Kelvin, which is the warmth. So it's it's not too bright, um, not too dim. I know it's kind of right in there. USB-C charging. What's really kind of cool about this is the on the um, the left-hand side of the image right now, that's actually a detachable flashlight. It is a lithium-ion battery, 2,600 milliamps for the main device, 800 for the flashlight, and there is a motion sensor. More on that later. Uh, overall, the device is, uh, it's got a nice design, it's flexible, you can kind of flip it around and, and put it into some different images. Again, that flashlight is a really, really, really nice touch. Uh, let's get into the unboxing and see what this looks like. So as you can see, the iHapper uh, LED desk lamp, this isn't a small device and the box is uh, reassuringly large and shiny, right? Apple HomeKit written right there on the box, all that is good. Uh, we've got voice control, so you can use uh, Siri for this. You've got an intelligent sensor. That's the motion sensor. Uh, they claim to have done some eye care studies so that this is actually a little easier on your eyes when you're reading. Um, portable flashlight. I again, touch dimming, energy saving. All that stuff is good there uh, and really clearly marked on the box. So if we go to the back of the box here, again, you can see the input voltage, which is... Uh, 5 volts, 2 amps, DC, uh, rated power, battery capacity for the flashlight, the luminous flux, so how bright it's going to be, 160 lumens, uh, product size, all that stuff is in there, the international standards, clear, clear, clear on the box, which is always a nice thing. So as we get into the box itself, instructions right there on top, and you can see this is very neatly packed. Uh, nothing's going to be moving around here. And you can see the size and shape of the box is really, uh, that's because of the size and shape of the pieces that are going to make up this lamp. You've got the home kit code, the QR code right there, available. Um, all the instructions on how to put this thing together tells you what's in the box. Basically everything you need for the instructions, right? Um, the nice thing is, is it's really obvious how this thing goes together. So we really don't have to worry too much about trying to figure that out. Uh, as I mentioned before, USB-C, so this is gonna be the power here. You can actually charge this from uh, USB-A, any USB-A adapter, or of course, if you've got USB-C to USB-C, you could do that as well. So looking here, here are the parts that we're gonna be dealing with. We've got the, uh, the base, the flashlight, We've got these little rubber knobs here. Um, everything basically that we need to be able to put this thing together. You can also see here that we've got this touch LED um, or touch controls here. We've got the home kit code on there, the MAC address. So this is Wi-Fi. And you're gonna be able to just slide your thumb up or down there or finger up or down to turn the light brightness um, dim to bright, which is also a nice touch. So as you can see, uh, it really just snaps together. There's no tools at all required. Um, and as soon as you get that battery connected to the poles there, you've got lights. Um, the piece right here that I'm pulling on and off, that's actually a magnetic uh, attachment, a magnetic lock, if you will, for the flashlight piece, which we're going to be able to, as I said, you can just take it off and you can wander around with it, which is a really, I think, a really nice touch. 
So we'll do a quick test here of the touch controls first before we actually set this thing up. And as you can see, they work, right? So no home, you don't need a smartphone. You could actually take advantage of this device if you wanted to and never actually attach it to your Wi-Fi, right? Up or down, nice, simple. Now let's go set up the app. So the first time I used the iHapper app, it definitely had some issues. Uh, but I'm happy to report that they've made some constant improvements to this. They've done a few releases, some bug fixes, and now it doesn't seem to crash as much as it was and seems to be quite a bit more um, stable in general. Right. The I, I, again, for me, a vendor app is is really only useful for firmware updates for the most part. But I do like to see, like from a design standpoint, what they're doing. Um, you can see here we're using the typical HomeKit setup. So this is going to be pushing over whichever Wi-Fi network you are currently connected to, and it's going to push those settings directly over to your um, your iHapper desk lamp. So this, I had no problems at all, worked on the first try. Um, again, this may take 30 seconds, 45 seconds, really it. There's a whole bunch of it depends things going on here, but for me, it worked perfectly. So this is listed as a table lamp. And again, that's, that's an interesting thing. The product name is desk lamp, but you could use this as a bedside table lamp. You could put this in your kid's room. Um, as a lamp in there for them, kind of flashlight to go to the bathroom at night, those kinds of things. So you got a lot of options with this particular product. And of course, we also have that motion sensor that we talked about before. So one thing to be aware of is I don't, I'm not sure if I would call this a motion sensor. Maybe it's more of an occupancy sensor. Um, really, the way this is going to work is that the lamp has an, kind of an automatic mode that if it senses you walking up, it's going to turn the brightness on. And then after five minutes, it's going to turn the brightness down if it doesn't sense motion. And after 30 minutes, it's going to turn the light completely off, which is kind of a cool thing, right? It makes life easy on us. But that being said, it doesn't seem to be the kind of motion sensor that I would typically use for a motion sensor automation, like something that I want to have, you know, quick. Um, it may be something useful, again, if you want to have lights in a room all tied to that same desk lamp that everything turns on in five minutes and everything turns off in um, a half an hour. Yeah, that might work. Uh, currently, iHopper does not expose those timers, which is what it is. So the other thing to be aware of here is the cloud service. So you'll notice here that there is a cloud service button available. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work. Uh, so Having contacted iHapper, I was able to confirm with them that Amazon, Madam A, Google Assistant, those, although it's listed in the app is that you could connect this to your cloud service, it actually isn't supported as of this time. So we may see that in the future. We may not. Who knows? Uh, definitely reach out to iHapper and let them know if that's something that you're looking for. And other than that, um, we can go here, put it in different rooms, and again, just taking you through kind of some of the, the hardware info that you have available. So let's flip over to the Apple Home app here and uh, see what it looks like over there. So right here, this is the power of HomeKit, is you've got a common database shared amongst all these different apps, and each one can have kind of its own interface, its own design aesthetic, all of that. And you're going to be able to access whichever one you love. If you love the Eve Home app, go use that. If you love the Apple Home app, great. iHapper, whatever. That's really the beauty of Apple HomeKit as an ecosystem is everything ties together and any, any of the supported devices you can tie together easily. So the last thing I wanted to do is show you guys the flashlight itself, which you may not have caught um, in the intro. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see here, it just literally pulls off the main base and you've got a little button uh, right on the inside that allows you to turn the flashlight on or off. Uh, as well, you can take off the little red rubber cap and if you wanted to, now you've got kind of a brighter flashlight here. Um, if I point this at the wall, you can see it's actually quite visible, uh, fairly bright. And again, it's just a really nice touch that allows us to, to essentially just pick up your light, walk around with it and not even worry about it. So final thoughts on the iHapper desk lamp. I'm a fan. I like it. I like the fact that it is a unique device. It's got a unique design. Uh, the flashlight is a nice touch. I, you know, I, I could have seen some improvements, maybe a light sensor, maybe um, more flexibility around the motion sensor, which we may or may not get in the future. Uh, definitely the Madam A and Google Assistant thing here. I would like to see that added to this product. I think that could be useful for those of us who live in more than one ecosystem. Uh, what do you guys think? Is there anything that I missed here? 
again, for the price point, less than $100, I think it's it's a pretty good buy. Um, any questions, anything I missed, definitely let me know in the uh, video details, comments below. Uh, I will put a link to this to the Amazon for my affiliates. So if you want to support me that way, that would be phenomenal. Love that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share, likes, always appreciated. You know, just if you, you want to say hi in the comments below, do that. I'll say hi back. See you guys soon.